These headlines doubling down their climate change attacks. The nation saying climate change denialism is literally killing us. And another from the outline, climate change denial should be a crime. Well, that's new. Here to react, climate researcher and the author of An Inconvenient Deception, which looks at Al Gore's book and is actually outselling Al Gore. Dr. Roy Spencer joins us from Nashville today. Uh, doctor, good morning to you. Good morning, Steve. Well, it shouldn't be surprising if you have two big, powerful hurricanes in a row. There are going to be some people who said, uh, we've never had that before, so it must be climate change. Oh, and we knew this was going to happen, I mean, in terms of the hype, because as you know, we've gone almost 12 years without a major hurricane hitting the United States. So we've mm -hmm. got we've got a nation of teenagers who virtually none of them ever remember hearing in the news of a major hurricane hitting the United States. And when I say major, I mean a category three or stronger. So are you a climate denier? Because it sounds like while well, those other people on the political left are saying, you know, obviously we've got to penalize, as we just saw, climate deniers. And yet you're saying that it, it, human activity, as we've chatted before, may not be necessarily related to this. Well, yes, frequently I am called a climate denier. I don't know why. I believe that some of the warmth that we're experiencing now is due to the carbon dioxide that we're putting in, into the atmosphere from burning of fossil fuels. But, you know, when these big events happen, you know, major hurricane, whether it's Harvey or whether it's Irma, you have to look back in history to see the context. And I believe uh, I have a graphic that I sent you that you might be able to show, yeah. which shows all the major hurricanes which have hit uh, Florida since 1900 and basically that what each dot is a hurricane right and what you see is that over time and this includes Irma this goes all the way through Irma uh, that just happened as you go through time there has been no increase in the number of major land falling hurricanes in Florida and there's been no increase in their intensity uh, the big one was 1935 uh, with the Labor Day storm. Right. And then weaker than that was Andrew in 1992. And then weaker than that was Charlie in uh, 2004. And then Irma was, you know, more of middle of the road kind of major hurricane, if you can think of such a thing. Sure. You say that global warming alarmists are the ones who should be prosecuted. What are you talking about? Yeah, well, I wouldn't bring that up if it weren't for the fact that we're attacked as being the ones that should be prosecuted or killed. You know, some people are pretty radical about this. And it's because the people that are pushing for new energy policy want to have us using energy, which is much more expensive than fossil fuels. And someday I hope we can have renewables renewable energy sources, which are competitive with fossil fuels. We are not there yet. And since Everything that mankind does depends on energy. Mm -hmm. Forcing expensive energy on people, which okay. is what these people want, is going to create more poverty. And if there's one thing we know that kills people in the world routinely, it's poverty. Sure. And, Doctor, uh, just to, get, to make it clear, you do not see a connection between uh, what is going on in our atmosphere at, or man is not creating global warming. That's what you told me during the commercial. Are, are, are you sure about that? Well, I think, okay, I think that mankind probably is contributing to the warmth we are currently seeing. We're about as warm as we were a thousand years ago. No one knows why it was warmer back during the medieval warm period. We're now warm again. Part of that is natural, no doubt, in my mind. Part of it is human caused, but it's missing the point that this is this warming that we're seeing is relatively benign. It's only half of what climate models predict. Uh, the extra CO2 is on average good for life on Earth. Uh, so to me, this is much ado about nothing that uh, there isn't really anything we can do about it anyway. The 2015 yeah. Paris Climate Treaty. You know, everyone came to an agreement which will have no measurable impact on global temperatures by okay. the end of this century. So, Roy, you know, you have a point of view that is different than a lot of people that you see on TV. Just curious, how much hate mail do you get on a regular basis from people who say, oh, you're a climate denier? Uh, no, it's not too bad. I get about one a week. I've been flying. I've been flying pretty much below the radar. Mm -hmm. I think until this until this latest ebook. So I'm getting a lot of action now. All right, uh, Roy Spencer joining us today, giving us his point of view from Nashville. Sir, thank you very much.